I've already shuffled in. We'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how your person sees you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just remember the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. They see you can be you see them. So keep that in mind. So Taurus, it's interesting because for the overall energy for a lot of you, Taurus, not all of you, I'm picking up that there's some type of disappointment that you'll be feeling in June. Maybe it's just short term or it could be long term, but um, something's got you feeling um, kind of sad here with the Five of Cups coming up in your reading. So for the present time, Five of Cups and Three of Swords. So let's get into the reading. Now the Five of Cups, it's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what will you choose to focus on coming up in June? Well, tomorrow's June. So the implication will probably be clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is it's important to watch where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. <clears throat> now this five of cups, it's paired with the three of swords. Now the three of swords, there is definitely an element of sorrow. And it's undeniable when this card appears in a reading. But what lies on the other side, it can be enhanced understanding and joy. So make sure you allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or sadness that comes up so that you can move past it. This card it can also point to maybe some deep emotional issues that were never addressed. Yeah, they need to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny any pain, that will not make it go away. Keep that in mind. So once again, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up in the month of June. But make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. And I say this because if you, if you let it stick around for a long time, it's easy to get stuck there and you'll just wake up every morning thinking, oh, this is the new, the new normal, and it's not. So you're really the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And unfortunately, others, they cannot decide it for you. So basically, like I said, coming up this month in June, it could be mid-June, late June, or it could be early June. But there's some disappointment here with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. And there's heartbreak. Could be relationship difficulties. Um, in a love relationship, you may... In, in a love relationship you're in, you may have just ended it or you could be in the process of ending it with this five of cups a relationship may have just ended or you could be thinking about walking away because there's some feelings of abandonment possibly you could feel unloved by this person and like i said there's disappointment with the five of cups loss and regret and with the three of swords it's showing rejection the two of you could be shutting each other out. So there's a lot of relationship difficulties here, which is bringing about the Three of Swords, which is about heartbreak. Hurt, pain, and sadness, sorrow. So let's get away from these two cards. I don't like that, but let's move on over and get more clarification on these two cards by taking a look at how they see you. The person you're dealing with. They see you as Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. 
Now, the Knight of Wands is a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence is increasing, and it will help reach towards any goals that you have. Keep in mind, this Knight, this Knight of Wands, it's a message bearer. The messages are likely to be positive, could be related to work, career, or family romance. Projects, if you have any, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So this Knight of Wands is one of the ways your person is seeing you. They, they see you as fearless, brave. You could, yeah, fearless, brave, very confident, but they think you you're in and out. They consider you to be the in and out type. Uh, they could see you as um, wanting to reach out. You, you got something to say. You want to talk. They could see you like that, okay? Very confident. You're ready to charge in and uh, lay the cards on the tables and say what you got to say. Okay? Um, or... This is the flip side of the Knight of Wands. It's a player type energy. They could think that you're dealing well with a lot of people because maybe you're in and out. You're not with them all the time. So they could think that you, you deal with a lot of people. You've got more than them. So they also see you as a will of fortune though. Now this Wheel of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control, but that's even okay. Roll with any changes and think positive. So the Wheel of Fortune is... It's actually good fortune. It's a turning point. But it's like gambling. Okay? Um, it's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated. Or it could possibly no longer suit your needs. Okay? So it could go either way because the wheel is turning. Um, and that's how your person sees you. They see you changing. You're in a cycle. You're transforming. Um, but they see it's good for you. I think it's, they see you as, yeah, in a cycle that's good for you, that's changing. But they also think that you, you, um, you might be playing them. Yeah, they could be thinking you, you're playing them. And that you're in a cycle where you're changing and... Um, they think that things are good for you right now, but I'm picking up, they think that you're playing them with this Knight of Wands here, and you're in a cycle where maybe your life is changing, or maybe you're different than, you maybe you're different than the person that they once knew when they first met you. So, let's take a look at how you see them. So, you see your person as the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Now, this Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when life could start to feel less than secure. Because if you take a look at the card that's above, you see them, that's the Five of Pentacles. This lady, she's walking away from the door, or she was about to go in, but it looks like her friend carried her away. And the dog is even barking at her, like, don't come this way, because I'll get you. So, it's important to remember that there's always help available when we need it, from forces seen and unseen. You could start to feel alone, but just remember you have the capacity to, to change that. So reach out. You might feel like you're being left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. 
just realize that this is really not the case. So do the best with what you have. And remember that the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because the help you need will come. So you see them as just they're not happy. Yeah, they could feel mistreated by you. That's how you see them. And you see them feeling left out. Hmm. And they're, they're suffering. Now it's with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, you got mixed feelings about life in general or maybe some people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings. But it's going to be important for you not to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. Because you could ruin the very things that you want the most. Such as close intimate relationships and um, friends and lovers. You could ruin that. So make sure you think several times before you let someone have it. Even if you know they deserve it. It's about picking your battles. So you also see them, they're ready to fight. Or they could be abusive. You could see them, yeah, being abusive and ready to fight. They got mixed feelings because they feel left out in the cold. So conflict is near. It's coming if it's not there already. Yeah, they got mixed feelings. And they're ready to fight. Or either to make a situ situation right. Make something right. But they're going to do it with conflict. Yeah. So that's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. We have the Two of Swords and the Chariot. The Two of Swords... It tells us that your partnerships are likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business. However, you might need to consider the depths of your commitment and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by whoever you're dealing with. If you're not, it may be time to bring things back into balance. Now, the Two of Swords... You could be ignoring some warning signs, um, trying to make a difficult choice, or you could just be avoiding the person you're dealing with. You're blocking them and avoiding them. Yeah, because there's two swords there. And yeah, you're, you're blocking and avoiding someone, or you're thinking about doing this. Because some choice is difficult right now. Now the chariot is here. This is also why it's happening. It's the chariot is um, it indicates a lot of energy because the chariot goes really fast, very fast, a lot of energy. But it's not a free for all energy. It's directed. It's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So when this card appears, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involved, and what you're willing to do to make them come life so this card points to determination and ambition getting things done testing and proving that you've got what it takes so this is a sign it's a sign that you should move forward if you should with whatever you have in mind and in your heart give it your best shot remember though you need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful so basically chariot and two of swords is why it's happening um, this connection might have started it might have went too far too fast so maybe you guys just jumped into this connection without getting to know each other so it just went too fast and things just got out of hand or it could go another way with the chariot here uh, you could be deciding to block this person and just get the heck out of Dodge really fast. You you won't walk away, but you'll run away. You'll run real fast. So, blocking, avoiding, and just taking off like the speed of lightning, getting out of there. So let's recap this reading, and hopefully we can get a complete picture, because I know it's kind of scattered. So, basically, in the present time, like I said, they're 
sometime in June. Could be towards the end of June. The energies are fluid when you get these readings. So just keep that in mind. So sometime maybe in June, could be like maybe next week, early June. You might start to feel some some disappointment, some regret, some sadness. Maybe you're going through some type of depression for some Taurus. And um, the person that you're dealing with, um, it doesn't help because um, you have to decide, are you going to cry over the disappointment that is happening or are you going to choose to just take what you have left in this connection? Take what's there and keep it moving. So it's kind of like a choice you're going to have to make. Um, but there's disappointment and then there's sadness and then the three of swords is, like I said, it's you might start to shut each other out because there's relationship difficulties and there's heartbreak. And they see you as, they think that you, you could be playing them. Yeah, with, that's a knight of wands. Um, or, or you just got something you want to save. It's about messages, the knight of wands. And they see you're at a, at a probably a good place in your life, whereas um, you could choose to take this connection or just take yourself into a di different direction. You could decide to... to they see that life is changing for you. You're in a cycle. You could decide to do without them. Or you could decide to stay with this person. Or you could decide to deal with this person. Or you could decide to not deal with this person. But they see you having good fortune. So you have the option to do this. But they think you might be playing them. Or, like I said, the energies and the roles can be switched. So you... They might think that you're seeing them as a player. But you, for how you see them as um, they're ready to fight, there could be some conflict. Um, they got mixed feelings. Your person has mixed feelings and they feel left out in the cold. Yeah, so they're not happy. They're ready to come at you mixed feelings and why it's happening because it looks like are you blocking them Taurus you're not answering their calls or not replying to their texts and it looks like you're ready to to run you're ready to get the heck out of town yeah cause it looks like they're coming at you with their swords They got them in their hand and they're ready to, they're ready to fight. There's conflict here because they, they feel that you made them feel left out in the cold and that you probably see in other people. And it looks like you, you got the will of fortune on you, on your side. You could choose to do without them. And so they're experiencing some heartbreak here. I'm picking up it's not you. Now you could have some regret and disappointment with this um, Five of Cups that things are, are working out. Things are working out like they are. You could be disappointed about how things are going. It looks like you could easily pick up those cups or just take the two cups that you have and get on with your life because the will of fortune is actually in your favor. But your person, they're upset. You make them feel left out in the cold and that you, you're just having a, a good time with all your other people. So they're experiencing some heartbreak. And it looks like you might be the one who's experiencing the the five of cups or it could be them thinking that they lost you but yeah it looks like you'll probably choose to 
avoid and block them because like I said they're ready to come at you they're upset yep it could be it, it could come off like they're being aggressive ready to fight and be a bully with the five of swords but you're gone you're you're on you take you got your chariot out and you're going 100 miles an hour you're out of there you block and you avoid so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Be safe. It sounds kind of scary. So I hope this resonates. I hope you enjoy the reading. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Also, don't forget that the roles can be switched. They see you can be, you see them. So, if you'd like to request personal readings, you can also do that too. The links are below in the description box. So, if you decide to purchase the extended of this reading, I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. That's for the extended of this reading. And like I said, the description box has the link. So, Taurus, I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all of, all of my subscribers. It helps my channel to grow. Uh, I really appreciate that too. So please come back and join me for the next reading for Taurus, which will be in about another four or five days. If this didn't resonate with you, maybe the next one will. So I hope you guys are doing well out there with this virus and you're staying safe and being strong. And I hope that 2020 is a beautiful month for you. And I hope that you have a great day. So I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you at the next reading.